Hey guys, it's the girl Leah here back again with another video for you guys. As you guys can see by the title, you already know what I'm about to be doing, honey. Yesterday is going to be a new vlog. So yeah, I'm going to be doing a vlog. It might be a weekly vlog, might be a day in my life, might be a random vlog. But yeah, for now, you guys are going to spend the day with me. If I decide to prolong the vlog, I will, okay? So yeah, you guys are going to come along with me. Wash my lashes. Anyways, forget about the lashes on this side. Well, yeah. I'm doing a vlog, as you guys can see, makeup on point, except the lashes. Hair on point, super cute. I redid my hair, so I'm super happy about that. It's super cute. I love how it looks. And I love this top too, I got it from Primark. You guys are going to come along with me. Excuse the noise in the background, that's a baby, he's snoring. I tried to get him to stop, but he couldn't, so <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's go. So guys, we're currently in Primark, or well, Primark. <laughs> And I'm currently picking up a couple of stuff. So I have a couple of stuff here. The baby, Kevin, behind. So yeah. Now I'm going to see what I can find for the baby because I think I found enough for myself. So I'm going to look for some stuff for the baby as well. I hope you guys are hearing me because I think I have in the headphones as well. Yeah. So guys, now I'm about to head back because late is like 10 p.m. I think about to be 10 p.m. so yeah I'm about to head back home with the baby so we're currently waiting for the train because the train has another well it's supposed to be this one so probably this might be the one I just have to wait for the sign to show that this is the exact one to confirm it so it hasn't confirmed it as yet so I'm waiting for that so that me and the baby go ahead home your fingers so guys this is the prepped nails and then i'm going to show you guys when i stick them on and then these are the nails that i'll be sticking on on her finger we just like try to size them and find which one we're going to use so these are the perfect ones for it and then we have the glue guys i'm scared but everything's going to work out for the better right so yeah get back to you guys in a minute this is what it's looking like right now this is the dryer oh my gosh it's so so pretty as you guys can see pink all over you don't know that's my color yeah this is it right here it's a good size as you guys can see it almost took over the table well i'm super excited to start this nail journey so yeah book with me <laughs> so guys this is the final result uh we thought it was like pink ish the the powder but unfortunately it was not as you guys can see it's see-through but it did came out great because your girl did a great job so i'm super proud of myself and i love the way how it looks so for first time girl i did a great job so guys we decided to do another color which is the nude color so this one my mom she loves this color so we just finished the application so right about now i'm going to file it with the filer then after i'm going to use the the machine to file it down as you guys can see it doesn't look that bad the application so i'm super happy about that so guys i just came from filing them as you guys can see yeah so now she's going to wash little boy now she's going to wash her hands and yeah i'm gonna get back to you guys afterwards okay so hey guys um 
as you guys can see i'm all dressed up but i'm not dressed up to go anywhere i was currently doing like uh three videos i think for youtube so that's why i'm dressed up like this and yeah i just finished and what time is it i guess what time is it guys it's 5 57 in the morning yes i started late anyway so i started around like 3 30 probably 4 4 o'clock i think yeah i think i started 4 o'clock so yeah i just got done wrapping that up and i think i'm going to do like um what is it called tiktok showing like what i got and stuff so if you guys would like to watch that video on what video i was doing then obviously you'll see this clothes on and you know that the video that i was doing right so yeah this is a vlog so i'm not gonna be showing you guys everything back over again or anything like that yeah i just need some footage <laughs> but yeah anyways i'm going to be showing tiktok everything and you guys could go ahead follow me on tiktok like i said in all of the other videos tiktok instagram i noticed that i haven't been promoting my other socials so now is the time honey for me to do that the both of them is it's me leah the plug okay so it's going to be somewhere right here on the screen right now i'm going to take off all of this makeup afterwards and get into my bed and go to sleep for a couple hours i'll get back to you guys probably tomorrow okay so see you guys tomorrow kiki kiki smile for the camera smile yay so today i'm gonna take you guys along with me because we're going to the mall or i don't know it's my mom she's taking me to the mall and you guys are gonna come along with us okay so yeah i decided to make my mom film me today because i know i look good and yeah i wanted you guys to see the trip so you guys can see shane primark primark shane affordable trip so <laughs> okay so yeah just come along with us guys Guys, okay, when he doesn't want to walk, he lazy. Let's go. Go ahead. Kevani. So guys, I just got a couple of stuff. Well, I only got accessories because I'm going to a concert. Cafe Me concert and I needed clothes but I haven't found uh, like an outfit as yet but I did get my accessories so I do need some boots to go with the dress I'm planning on wearing black so Kiki hey guys today is a new day we're about to head out because we're going to cut the baby's hair and then we're going to buffet to eat i think so yeah and i also need some mm. new boots for the concert on next week saturday so yeah you guys are gonna come along with me and i'm also going to pick up my certificate for my nails because i did do a course and and i'm going to pick up the certificate today normally i already had it but she did a mistake on the diploma so now I'm going to go and pick it back up, okay? So yeah, you guys are gonna come along with me, okay? So this is my outfit right here. My chains, I got them from, well, the butterfly one, I got it from Shein, and the other one, I got it from Primark. So yeah, my earrings, super cute. I got it from Lovisa. It's a store where you buy three for $10. So your girl had a great deal, right? So now we're about to head out. So here's the baby. Here. <laughs> oh, 
Oh là, regarde. Regarde. The sun. <laughs> But yeah, we're about to head out. And then my sister, I think she's going to pierce her nose today. So we're not going to be together. You thought I was feeling you? That nigga a munch, nigga eat it, he ate it for lunch Bitch on my body, I get what I want like You thought I was feeling you? That nigga a munch, nigga eat it, he ate it for lunch Bitch on my body, I get what I want like Bitch stay balanced, keep it a beam Don't be mad, I be on the scene Ask too fat, can't fit in a jean Use my stitch, but it's not with a steam I got that ready, I'm keeping it clean Fucking with niggas, that's toting a beam Saying you love me, but what do you mean? Pretty ass fucking ain't like that I mean Baddest bitch, how you shitting me? If you ain't a body, can't sit with me I swear that these bitches my mini beats he wanna sex, niggas be dreaming. I'm from the X, niggas be scheming. I'm on their necks, niggas not breathing. I'm in a check, floating in You thought I was feeling you? Hey guys, it's your girl Leah here. So as you guys can see, I'm all dressed up because I'm going out. Like I told you guys before in the previous clips, we were going to a concert. <laughs> yes, we're going so. to a concert currently. So here's Kevin. So for those of you, yeah. For those of you that don't know who is Carry Me, yeah, a Haitian band, one of the popular Haitian band, Carry Me. So, I think most of you know who he is, so who they are because it's a group. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit outside and then we're gonna go to the show together, okay? So, let's go. Oh, that's 
to come on here to like explain like whatever happened after the show and like why i didn't get back to you guys afterwards but yeah today's the day i'm gonna sit down and like talk a little bit not much i just want to like get into details real quick and then hop out of it <laughs> okay so yeah i just come from filming a new video which is a christmas wish list i think you guys might see this after this video or probably before so yeah Okay, so after we went to the, the show, the baby. Kevani, okay, come. So after the show, well, during the show, everything was going good and smooth and then they bring out a special guest, which was another famous Haitian artist that I used to love as my childhood. So I love this music. So the baby's coming. He just got up. Hey, baby. <laughs> After he came out and he performed, he did his thing and it was so beautiful and everyone was enjoying. I was actually enjoying. After that, Apparently, he was going off stage because he already did his part. So when he was going back, he fell. And the part where he fell was... I couldn't really have seen like how he fell and stuff like that. And I wasn't really like paying attention when he walked off. I was really paying attention when he was on the stage. But when he started to walk off, I turned to... turned to my boyfriend and we were like talking or discussing something i don't know what we were talking about but i just hear back do i look and i saw all i saw was his feet because wherever he fell there was something blocking him like one of the the band was blocking him on top of like a, a, a big block black thing like so he was like the guitar person so yeah so after he fell, everyone was in shock. Everyone started to like, oh, you know? So I put up my phone right away because I'm not gonna be filming this. This is not a part of, you're not supposed to be filming that, you know? You're supposed to be more worried about a person. So that's how I was. I was worrying. I was kind of worried like, oh my gosh, probably he faints, you know? That was in the back of my head. Like he, can... <clears throat> like he fainted, so. That's what I thought because he was actually like sweating. If you guys saw through the the big screen, he was sweating already before he even came off stage. Nobody think of anything about it. So after when he fell, everyone thought that he fainted. But then they started to bring him a little bit to the back. And the part where I was sitting, I could have seen everything, you know? I was really on this side of the stage, like on the side of the stage. And that's where he was like coming off. So he fell and they brought him to the back. And then, you know, in the arena, they had like um, some paramedics, that's what you call them. They were already there, you know, in the building. So I think they came and they were trying to like, help him. And then I started to see like they were trying to get a pump in him, you know, like. So when we saw that, we were like, oh, this is this got to be serious because they won't be doing that unless if something like actually like 
they're not getting he's not breathing or stuff like that you know so yeah that's what they were doing for a while they were doing that for like a while like a good 20 minutes and they were doing that so i was just there i was so worried i, I started to pray because that's the first thing that comes to my head i started to pray my gosh you're gonna get up from there that's what is my head i'm like you're going to get up in the name of jesus today today is not your day today is not your time you're going to get up from that stage you know because it's been a while since he's been on like a big stage like this i, I think and well at least that's what my boyfriend told me so i think uh so yeah so they brought him on stage and everyone was super happy to see them because the band wasn't on stage for like seven years they were apart and then they came back together and like yeah you know and then they brought him out because he made a couple of good songs as well oh my gosh it was a party in there you know so to see that he fell and then that happened and then they would start to prompt him and stuff like that it was so like scary you know so i was praying you're gonna get up you're gonna get up in the name of jesus you're gonna get up you know because that's my first instincts to start praying and you know because I, I start to get worried and then i start seeing people crying and stuff because they got scared you know even a pregnant woman she she started to leave because I, I don't think she wanted to see any of that you know so after that the one of the band members told us that we'll have to uh, wait a little bit you know and it's understandable we have to wait you know because this is serious this is someone life so we're waiting and stuff so while we're waiting and stuff now he told us that if everything's get better then we'll have to we're gonna put on put on the, the show but if not we're gonna have to evacuate the building that's what he told us. so after a while it was not getting better at all and they told us to evacuate the building but me i'm still there i'm sitting because i'm praying i need him to get up you know because this can't happen like this and this is a man that has a wife a pregnant wife because he's pregnant and then he has two other children Oh, you have a family god i know everyone has your time but like you wouldn't believe it would be this time so i'm like no it's not your time now even though i know i'm not god but like i'm praying for you to get up you know but then after a while after we ever came into the building uh while we were heading home and stuff they announced that he died so i was shocked i actually didn't cry and i don't want to cry now neither because whew, that was so sad to know that the band came together and then they brought out one of their good friends you know to perform with them as well and then this happened that was uh i don't know i was i was thinking about that for like two three days until to this day i was like how could this happen you know to someone i think they said that they had like a, a cardiac arrest heart attack i don't know one of those they said okay money so yeah it's so sad to know that that happened i was like my soul rest in peace you know to know that that happened. i'm gonna insert like a picture at the end of this video to show you guys i'm not gonna be putting his songs but his name was um mikael benjamin um they used to call him mika ben for short you know yeah. he's a haitian artist and his songs was good back then i didn't know it was him because i never saw him but afterwards i get to find out it was him and stuff and his song was my childhood songs listening in the neighborhood we had a lot of haitian neighbors any bar that you go to you hear that you want to go buy some chicken wings some johnny cake you hear it when there's carnival you hear it it's like you hear this all the days of your life you know and knowing that the person and then in front of me i mean for me he died that time because afterwards they brought in more people from the hospital uh we call him samu i don't know what you said in in, in english but yeah there's a samu they come there's like emergency doctors like you could say that like emergency doctors like if the ambulance cannot do nothing about it because the ambulance came afterwards because they had did have paramedics you know on at the site they came in and tried to like work out everything then the ambulance came and then they brought in the emergency doctors and yeah it was just getting worse and then that happened to know that that was their first concert back and then that happened that's so sad i feel like crying but i don't want to cry because i mean it's life and i know these things happen and we just gotta like move on from it but it's like to think of it like how 
why you know it's like amanda was just looking healthy but i mean they did um release like a piece of clip before he came on stage because when they started to play the song that he was going to perform he was about to come out but you could already see that he was sweating already and he, he started to say a word but after he put down the mic and he was like you know it was looking like he was already tired before he came on stage and when he came on stage he was looking strong you know and everyone was happy Oof. everyone was happy i mean he did his thing and yeah i know he's gone but at least the crowd was cheering for him and yeah they, they root for his music you know and i was so happy because i mean i'm not haitian my boyfriend is but i mean these songs i listened to since back in the days back when i was little my mom everyone listens to that and in st martin it's all culture you know haitian dominican uh Dom dominicas we have uh curacao we have um trinidadians we have Guyanese, Jamaicans, we have all of that in St. Martin. It's like all different types of cultures, you'll find it there, right? So, yeah, I, I've i heard all sorts of music growing up, so yeah, it's kind of sad to know that that happened, but yeah, I don't want to make this uh, clip long, so yeah, this will be at the end of this vlog. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this vlog. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, turn on notification bell so that you guys can know whenever you go post, okay? Thank you guys for watching this lovely vlog. And yeah, enjoy the cute little clips that I gave you guys. And enjoy the show as well because I did film a lot. And yeah. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye.